Uh, and here we go with another interesting, very interesting interview with one of the guys in the community of makers of Dubai. And we are going to speak with the Rishab that recently graduated from the GEMS uh, Millennium of Sharjah. And please, Rishab, tell us who you are when you met the Arduino. The screen is yours. Sure. Uh, my name is Rishab Java. I'm a 17 year old, just graduated from high school student. And um, I like to make things. I've been doing it since I was seven. I started out by with um, simple circuits that I had made, like a clap switch, things like that, and um, moved on to like Lego robots for quite a while until I was 13 and discovered the Arduino. So it was about um, four years ago when I learned about these amazing microcontrollers called Arduino. And that was through a friend who was slightly elder than me. And um, one day he, he'd seen this project on the internet and he had the parts for it. And he was like, dude, let's actually get together and make this. And I was like, okay, I've not worked with the board before, but let's try. And that's how I kind of got into it. And um, I started experimenting with small projects. And at my school, we had this Arduino starter kit along with, uh, you know, the book. So it was like, I sat down one day and I tried all those 13 projects that are in the book. And that's, that's when I, you know, got a bit comfortable with, with the IDE, with the board and basics of the, um, with all the basic electrical components. And then from then it's just been going online, looking for random projects that I can work on, you know, just to teach, uh, just teach myself dif different aspects of the board, learning about the different boards and um, the wondrous things I'd say that you can do with them. So, um, yeah, I guess that, that's basically yes. been how I started. Okay, so basically you discovered the Arduino thanks to the internet and your friend. So you, uh, mm. you probably saw that recently we have reached the over 100 million projects available online. If you just type Arduino project, you get this amazing number. But I think that you're a kind of guy that is really looking for something special. So I'm pretty sure that you have something very special to show us and please do. Oh, sure. So it was about, um, I'd say three years ago, I started working with uh, 3D printing and decided to put Arduino and 3D printing together. So the first such project that I worked on was the prosthetic arm. That was um, a 3D printed bionic arm uh, as a replacement for people that do not have the forearm. And um, normal prosthetics can cost a ton of money. And this was just like a $30 replacement to them powered by the Arduino. So you have two servos that were controlled using voice commands, using Bluetooth and your mobile phone or directly connecting it to electroencephalography and um, um, using your brain waves to control the arm. So those are two more methods of control. I'm currently trying to implement this project. I'm having an orthopedic in India tested. So that's one of the actual applications um, that I'm trying to actually put out there with the Arduino. After that, I think about two years ago, I started work on this. His, um, I call wow. him Ferb. He... <laughs> Yeah, I call him Ferb. He is um, based on an open source project called InMove. Um, it's a very famous project in the maker community where um, it's li literally a six feet tall humanoid robot that we compl that's completely 3D printed and it's all powered by Arduino, all, all parts of it. And um, I, I decided to work on, I decided to start working on a very ambitious project. I never thought I'd completed, but starting in uh, May or June of 2017, I spent an entire year building three, uh, two or three different versions of it until the final version, like his head is on the table. The rest of him is lying in my room, but, um, he, he's built pretty well. And, um, yeah, he, I think that robot itself, it has like, um, it has like two Arduino's mega Arduino mega boards controlling the arms. And then there's, they work well with the PC, which has, um, the software for the cameras and all of that. So I spent a lot of time working on the humanoid and then, I wanted to work with mind control again. And uh, I, I started making, I started hacking normal toys, such as, you know, drones and uh, normal train tracks to um, make them mind control. So I I'd get these, um, I got these random EEG headsets on eBay. Um, these are like, I got them for like $11 and then um, I had to modify them a little bit to get them to work with my computer. And I would get normal Chinese toys, like drones or like remote control cars. and then mod and then add the Arduino element to it to either control a relay or act like an electronic switch and use that to control the toys using the brainwave using brainwave. So those are some of the interesting projects that I've worked on with the Arduino yeah. microcontroller. Okay. Yes. Well. So it looks you yeah, really like the kind of uh, user and 
person in the community that we really love to have because you have all the elements. You are ingenious, you are creative, you are looking around and finding interesting projects to do. The robot was an amazing achievement because it took really a lot of time to build that kind of thing. And, you know, I'm really proud of you as a community member here in Dubai. I think that Dubai can count on you for a very, very good project that you will show us in the next coming months and years. So thank you very much for being with us and showing us your project. I hope you... Thanks a lot for having me. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. See you.